Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the coordinate proof. So let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A, determine a coordinate proof Letter B, apply the distance formula to prove some geometric properties And letter C, appreciate the significance of the distance formula and the midpoint formula in writing a coordinate proof Let us define first what is a coordinate proof when we say coordinate proof, it is a proof that uses figures on a coordinate plane to prove geometric properties. So let's have the following guidelines for placing figures on a coordinate plane to prove geometric properties using the methods of coordinate geometry. So the first guideline is to use the origin as vertex or center of a figure. Then the next one is to place at least one side of a polygon on an axis. So meaning to say we will place it at least on the x-axis or at the y-axis. And then the third one, if possible, keep the figure within the first quadrant. And then the last one is to use coordinates that make computation simple and easy. Sometimes, using coordinates that are multiples of 2 would make the computation easier. So these are the guidelines we must follow to prove geometric properties in much easier and faster way. So let's have our first example. Prove that the line segments joining the midpoints of the successive sides of any rectangle forms a rhombus. So we have a given figure. Let's try to find the solution. So let's list the given. Given already is quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rectangle. And also E, F, G, H are the midpoints of the sides of the rectangle. So we have to prove that quadrilateral E, F, G, H, which are the midpoints of the sides of the rectangle is also a rhombus. To prove that, we have to place rectangle ABCD on a coordinate plane. So we have to label the coordinates using the variables as shown on the next slide. So on the given figure, we have labeled the coordinates with the following variables. The x value will be in terms of A the y value will be in terms of b. So let's try to label this one. We have start at the origin, which is the coordinate of a is equal to 0, 0. And then the coordinate of h, since this one is the x value or the abscissa, we will write a here followed by 0. So the coordinates of h is equal to a0. And then the coordinates of d, since this one is a, so this one will be equal to 2a. So the coordinates of t is equal to 2a0. And then we have the coordinates of point g. So we have 2a and then followed by b. Since this one is in terms of y or the value of the ordinate. So the coordinate of g is equal to 2a b. And then the coordinates of C will be equal to 2A, 2B. The coordinates of point F will be equal to A, 2B. And then the coordinates of B will be equal to 0, 2B. And then the coordinates of point E will be equal to 0, B. Next, after that, to prove that E, F, G, H is a rhombus, we will use the distance formula we will try to measure the distance of point E to point F, point F to point G, point G to point H, and point H to point E. 
these four segments must be equal with each other. So let's try to apply the distance formula. So we have segment EF is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then bring down segment EF equals square root of the quantity of the value of x sub 1 which is equal to A minus the value of x sub 2 which is equal to 0 to the second power plus the quantity of the value of y sub 1 which is equal to 2b minus the value of y sub 2 which is equal to b to the second power and then bring down segment EF equals square root of A minus 0 is A and then A to the second power is A squared plus 2B minus B will be equal to B raised to the second power is B squared. So segment EF will be equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. Next, let's now solve for the measure of segment FG. So to find the measure of segment FG, we will apply the distance formula. Segment FG is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then after that, we will bring down segment FG equals square root of x sub 1 which is equal to 2A minus x sub 2 equals A and then raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 which is equal to b minus the value of y sub 2 which is equal to 2b raised to the second power and then we will simplify segment fg is equal to square root of 2a minus a is equal to a a to the second power is equal to a squared plus b minus 2b is equal to negative b negative b times negative b is equal to positive b squared so therefore the value of segment fg is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared next let's find the measure of segment gh so we will use again the distance formula so segment gh is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then we will bring down segment GH equals square root of the quantity of the value of x sub 1 which is equal to A minus the value of x sub 2 which is equal to 2A raised to the second power plus the quantity of the value of y sub 1 which is equal to 0 minus the value of y sub 2 which is equal to b raised to the second power and then we will bring down segment gh equals square root of a minus 2a is equal to negative a negative a to the second power is equal to a squared plus 0 minus b is equal to negative b negative b to the second power is equal to positive b squared. Therefore, the measure of segment GH is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. Next, let's find the measure of segment HE. So to do that, again, we will apply the distance formula. Segment HE is equal to square root of the quantity of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. And then we will substitute the corresponding value, bring down segment HE equals square root of the quantity of the value of x sub 1, which is equal to A, minus the value of x sub 2, which is equal to 0, raised to the second power plus the quantity of the value of the y sub 1 which is equal to b minus the value of y sub 2 which is equal to 0 
raised to the second power. And then we will simplify. Bring down segment HE equals square root of A minus 0 is equal to A. A to the second power is equal to A squared. And then plus B minus 0 is B raised to the second power is B squared. Therefore, the measure of segment HE is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. Since all of the four sides of the quadrilateral is equal with each other, then EFGH is a rhombus. Let's have our next example. We have to prove that the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle has a length which is half that of the third side. So let's have our solution. Let's list down the following given. We will make point PQR as our triangle. So PQR is a triangle. And then let's make point S and point T as the midpoints of segment PQ and segment QR. And then we have to prove that segment ST is equal to one half the measure of segment PR. So meaning to say, we must prove that this segment is one half of the measure of this segment. So we have already placed triangle PQR on a coordinate plane wherein point P is at the origin or the center, which is equal to 0, 0. And then point R has a coordinates of A, 0. And then point Q has a coordinates of point B and point C. So to prove that segment ST is one half of the measure of segment PR, we will find the coordinates of point S and point T. So to find the coordinates of point S and point T, we will use the midpoint formula since these two points are the midpoints of these two segments. So we will solve it using the midpoint formula. Let's now apply the midpoint formula to get the coordinates of point S and point T. So let's find the midpoint of segment PQ first. So to find the midpoint of segment PQ, the formula will be x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 to get the x value. And then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 to get the y value. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. x sub 1 will be equal to 0 plus x sub 2 will be equal to b divided by 2. And then y sub 1 will be equal to 0 plus y sub 2 will be equal to c divided by 2. And then we will simplify. 0 plus b is b over 2. And then 0 plus c is c over 2. So the midpoint of segment PQ, which is point S, has a coordinates of b over 2, c over 2. And then next, let's have the midpoint of segment RQ. So again, we will use the midpoint formula. So we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 to get the x value, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 to get the y value. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding values. The value of x sub 1 is equal to a plus the value of x sub 2 will be equal to b divided by 2. Then the value of y sub 1 is equal to 0 plus the value of y sub 2 is equal to c. So 0 plus c over 2. And then after that we will simplify. We will just bring down a plus b over 2 and then 0 plus c is c over 2. So bring down c over 2. So the coordinates of point T is a plus b over 2, c over 2. The next step after we have compute the midpoint of segment PQ and segment QR, we will now get the lens of segment ST and segment PR using the distance formula. If the length of segment ST is one half of the length of segment PR, then we have proved that segment ST is equal to one half the measure of segment PR. So let's try using the distance formula. Let's solve first for the length of segment ST. 
So we have the given point S which has a coordinates of B over 2, C over 2. And then point T which has a coordinates of A plus B over 2, C over 2. And then we will use the distance formula wherein the length of segment ST is equal to square root of the quantity of X sub 1 minus X sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to the second power. Bring down segment ST equals square root of the quantity of the value of x sub 1 will be equal to b over 2 minus the value of x sub 2 will be a plus b over 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y sub 1 which is equal to c over 2 minus the value of y sub 2 which is equal to c over 2 raised to the second power and then we will simplify bring down segment st equals square root of since this is an example of similar fraction because they have the same denominator we will just subtract the numerator so b minus a plus b will be equal to a then we will copy the denominator so we have a over 2 raised to the second power same goes with this one this is similar fraction so c minus c will be equal to 0 and then copy 2 0 divided by 2 will be equal to 0 raised to the second power and then bring down segment st equals square root of a to the second power is a squared and then 2 to the second power is equal to 4. And then after that, square root of a squared over 4 will be equal to a over 2. So the measure of segment st is equal to a over 2. Now let's now find the distance of segment pr or the measure of segment pr. So we have point p at the origin which has a coordinates of 0, 0 point R which has a coordinates of A0. We will use the distance formula wherein segment PR is equal to square root of the quantity of X sub 1 minus X sub 2 raised to the second power plus the quantity of Y sub 1 minus Y sub 2 raised to the second power. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. So we have segment PR is equal to square root of the quantity of the value of x sub 1 which is equal to 0 minus the value of x sub 2 which is equal to a raised to the second power plus the quantity of the value of y sub 1 is equal to 0 minus the value of y sub 2 which is also equal to 0 raised to the second power and then bring down segment pr equals square root of 0 minus a is equal to negative a. Negative a to the second power is equal to a squared plus 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 raised to the second power. Bring down segment pr equals square root of a squared plus 0 is equal to square root of a squared. And then square root of a squared will be equal to a. So the measure of segment pr is equal to a. Since a over 2, the measure of segment st is equal to 1 half of segment pr which is equal to a. Therefore, segment st is equal to 1 half the measure of segment pr.